joining the conversation now, former advisor to Presidents Clinton and Trump, Dick Morris. Uh, Dick, g give me your uh, feeling. You, you've said all along Republicans are rebounding um, they're, they're from the early vote total because you were the first one to point out, hey, these early votes uh, do skew Democratic. Uh, is that changing or you feel that the um, turnout will be strong enough on Election Day? Well, it's changing. Uh, when I first talked about this about 10 days ago, 50 percent of the votes were being cast in early voting were by Democrats and 30 were by Republicans. Now the Democratic vote is down to about 46 or 43 or 44, and the Republican vote is up to about 35 or 36. So the gap is narrowed from 18, from 20 points down to about 12. Uh, but let me say that I think the huge news today is I think today the Republican Party clinched control of the U.S. Senate. Because in Arizona, I don't know if you reported this, the Libertarian candidate withdrew yeah. from the election and endorsed Masters, the Republican. And to me, that is absolutely the key uh, to this race. Um, Liber uh, the two candidates, uh, Kelly and Masters, had been glaring at each other at 47-47 or 48-48. And 3% of the vote was going to a Libertarian candidate who just withdrew and endorse Masters, the Republican. And this is absolutely earth-shaking. Uh, this means that the Republicans now can count on the 50 votes they brought in, which means Oz, Vance, and Bud are going to win in their states. But now we have most likely Arizona and Georgia and Nevada as a victories, and possibly New Hampshire and possibly some others. So. I see a minimum at this point of 53 Republican senators. That, and that would be quite an accomplishment mm -hmm. already having 212. So uh, that, that would be a big win, a big red wave. Dick Morris, thank you so much. Thank you. You never know how these things turn out. I remember yeah. I was covering the election uh, one night back in 2004 for uh, another network rhymes with uh, Fox. <laughs> Let's just say. And hmm. early on, everybody was saying, well, George W. is not going to do well. Flash, right. And, and, and uh, even the exit polls were, it's going to be a long night. It's not mm -hmm. going to do well. Well, then the actual results started coming in. And it's like, well, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. The exit polls were not matching what was no. coming out. The right. actual results showed that Republicans were doing very well. So you never know how the po people can lie to the exit polls sure. and and the, the polls are wrong all the time yeah anyway, the so. polls were wrong assuming that hillary clinton was going to be uh, Trump, exactly and we know that didn't happen